Time for your first alert forecast. Lonnie Quinn's going to join us here in a second. I mean, the 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 winter that hasn't started. It, it really feels that way, doesn't it? It's not the winter, right? right? It it's really does. Springy weather for today, yesterday, and tomorrow and Sunday. How about you know, it? You know what we're going to talk about in, in the extended forecast? I do see a run of about four days where it's going to be below average. And look, that's not like a huge headline, except. We haven't had that since since really it was Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, that time period. We're going to go back to some cold air, guys, but sit tight. We just haven't had much cold air in place, and that's why you can't make a snowflake if you don't have cold air. Right now outside, there's your picture. So the skies are, I've oh, got a couple of clouds overhead. It's 37 degrees with a little bit of a wind. It's not crazy, maybe a 15-mile-per-hour gust at times. 37 can feel like 32. Tomorrow morning? Yeah, it's about 34 on the thermometer, but it'll feel like 25 for New York City. Most of the area wakes up feeling like you're in the 20s. Now, you get up to 49 on Saturday, 50 on Sunday. I think Saturday, yeah, it's a sun and cloud mix, but I think overall it's the better, sort of somewhat brighter day. Sunday, more clouds, a bit of a rain chance later in the afternoon as you push into the evening hours. So it's just more mild air, right? I mean, what a January this has been. We've only had one day so far that the high temperature was below average. Every other day, we've been, you know, well above average. So 26. Six days above average, one below average. By the time you get to Sunday, it'll be 28 days above average and one that has been below average. So what is going to happen? Day 6 through 10, that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of next week. We do believe the pattern's going to change and your temperatures will be running a little bit cooler than they should be this time of the year. And if you look at the projections here, all right, this pink shows you the real cold air, certainly dropping in, takes hold by Wednesday. High temperatures only in the 30s, and then it sort of fluctuates just like that. You, huff, you, you run through about four days where you do not get temperatures going above 30 degrees. In fact, Friday got a big swath of cold air that comes into the area, and it sort of stays in place for Saturday. So that's that four-day run. Is there any precipitation during that time? Well, let's take a look. Here we go into your day on Saturday, partly sunny skies. Sunday, more clouds come into the area. Remember, it's 50 degrees on Sunday. So, yeah, there's some precipitation on Sunday, but it's really uh, it's a rain chance, and it's not much rain at that, but there's a little bit of a rain chance out there. Then we're going to go into Monday. A bigger system passes well to our south. Now, it's close enough. It may spill a little moisture into the area. We'll have to watch this because if it does move to the north, that's something that we would have to deal with. But as of right now, it's a bigger system way down to the south around the Chesapeake. So, what do we get for those numbers? Again, we're above average until we get to that cold snap, which is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's not off the charts, but we are looking at temperatures not getting out of the 30s. And on Wednesday, late Wednesday into early Thursday, so the timing would be right as far as the portion of your day uh, when it would be cold enough to possibly make some snow out there. That's the one that we'll sort of watch for at least the chance, because otherwise I see some chances out there, but it would be rain. All, All right, right. we're watching. Thank you. The winter that wasn't. <laughs> Isn't. <laughs>